My name is Les. And I'm Steve. And this is Tabletop Tasty. It sure is. Les? Yes, Steve? We play a lot of games. We do. And really at the core of why we started this channel was because we play an awesome game and we would pair it with a really good board game. Yep, that's right. And so that's what we're going to do. Almost like a mini episode, our core values of pairing a good game with a great bottle of whiskey. Excellent. And I've recently been introduced to this game called Hokito, mm. which is a two-player abstract game. Yep. It kind of has a mini chessboard with it. Yeah. And players have tiles of one, two, or three, which indicates how far they can move. Yep. And they try to capture or control the other people's pieces as yep. they play through it. Yeah. It's a fantastic, excellent little strategy game. It is. It's so good. Now, I've played it with you, and yep. you, uh, how did you do? I didn't do so well, and I'm not, it is a bit like checkers or chess, like there's a, a bit of that strategy, actually there's a lot of that strategy to it, um, and at the time of us playing, I just really wasn't into it, but I do want to play it again a number of times, um, because I think the outcome will be different each and every single time. Yeah, and it is actually, it's a fantastic strategy game, mm -hmm. as I said. Yeah. And after you play it two or three times, sure. everything starts clicking yeah. for it. And I have yeah. played it a bunch of times. Yeah, so exactly. when I played you, yeah. I trounced you. He had his maniacal laugh. <laughs> I did, but it was it was a ton of fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a great little game. It yeah. was cheap. It was $35 Canadian. Yeah. And this developer as well has made a series of similar type little two-player mm. abstract games. And yeah. they're all fantastic. Yeah. So if you find any of them, definitely worth picking up. Yeah. What would you pair with this game. Steve. So it is, it's an easy game to play because there's not a lot of, of thought to it. You just got to move the pieces, but there is a ton of strategy. So there is a lot of complexity to it. Yeah. And when I think of that, I go to one thing. What laws. do you go to? Laws. Laws. Okay. Laws, 100%. <clears throat> so four grain, they do everything grain to glass, Laws whiskey out of Colorado. They do everything right. And this is the barrel select, I believe. Yeah, so right? this was selected by a bunch of enthusiasts, PWS out of Alberta. Hmm. They went to Laws, selected that barrel. This is what we get from them. I think it will go really well with it because again, there's a lot of complexity to it, but it's also just like super easy to drink. As you're strategizing, you, you have a nice little sip and you're like, hey, Let's, see. Let's play that. That's a great point, because this is literally a two-minute teach. Yes. You're a little bit slower, so it took you know, three or four minutes. Sure, sure. But uh, yeah. it's super easy to teach, but complicated to master. Exactly. Anyone yep. can play this game, but if you're yep. really, really on the ball and mm. intelligent, you can do really, really well at this. Yeah, for And sure. it's the same thing with this yeah. Laws Whiskey. It 100%. really is the perfect pairing yeah. because anybody, this is a great introductory tons, whiskey. Tons of people are out there making whiskey, but to make a great yeah. whiskey, you need to be the top of your game. Yeah. And, and that's what those guys experts, are doing. Experts, those really yeah. familiar and passionate with whiskey tasting yeah. will love this as well. Yeah. It's great 100%. for the new yeah. player, the introductory person, yeah. and the long term, long time experienced whiskey taster. Yeah, exactly. So a, a Laws is going to be a lot of times a little bit higher ABV mm. uh, because it's made by whiskey enthusiasts for whiskey enthusiasts. So like, especially with this example, 62 um, plus percent ABV. However, it drinks so nice and smooth, so nice mm. and uh, just tasty. That higher alcohol volume you don't taste it. And All you, you taste is taste. four let's, grain. Let's, can you okay. just pour a little yeah, bit? Yeah, for we, sure. We don't need much. Why just not? A, just a splash. Ooh, it still has that nice bottle pop. L Laws is unique for that where every yeah. time you open the bottle, you get a phenomenal And it's bottle. like a little, they have their own like decanter is basically, like it's super heavy, the glass to this. I think this will go really well with this type of game. With Wakito? Four grain, bourbon, Minimum 51% corn. So you got a little bit of that sweetness. Oh. Mellowed out by the rye, the wheat. There's no one I know that does four grains as well mm -hmm. as Laws does. No. So it is all. a bourbon, so it's at least 51% yep. corn. But yep. 
I think they're fairly balanced on the other greens that are in there. Yeah. Um, and my goodness. And you know, so the the creators of this game, they tested this time and again to kind of perfect it before they put it out. Laws does the same thing. Yeah. So you got a really good pairing. Laws, barrel select, four grains, straight bourbon with Hokito. The abstract game by Claude Leroy and Tom Delahaye. Yeah. Um, two player game, super cheap, 35 bucks. Yeah. Um, but the quality of this and a fantastic game that you yeah. know when you're waiting for other people to show up for mm -hmm. a game night yeah. is one that you can knock off with a buddy really, really quick. Exactly. And guaranteed after they play it, they're gonna wanna play it again. They're gonna wanna play it again. Yeah. The so. same thing with the laws. So perfect pairing. That's right. My name is Les. And I'm Steve. And this is Tabletop Tasty. It sure is. Have a great day.